Now that we've defined the machine, defined the stock, and defined the features to be machined, we're now ready to generate an operation plan. An operation plan is basically a series of steps or operations that will be used to machine each feature. For example, the pocket features that CamWorks recognized on this part showed a rough finish strategy in the feature tree. When we create an operation plan, there will actually be two operations for this one feature, a roughing operation and a contouring operation. CamWorks creates both of the operations automatically because the rough finish strategy was set up in the technology database. We'll go into more detail about how these strategies are set up in the database later. So, have you been wondering why all the features here are shown in magenta? Well, the magenta color is a cue to let you know that an operation plan has not yet been created for these features. This can be very helpful on parts in determining which features do not have operation plans created. There are a couple of ways I can generate operation plans. I can create them for all of the features automatically by selecting the Generate Operation Plan icon that is now active in the CamWorks toolbar. I can also right click on the part setup and select Generate Operation Plan. Alternatively, I can create operation plans for each feature individually by highlighting the feature and selecting Generate Operation Plan from my right click menu. For this part, I'll generate all of the operation plans at once. You can see the list of operations appear in Magenta. If I switch back to the feature tree, you'll now see all of the features show up in black instead of Magenta. This means that operations have been created for each feature. To view these operations, let's move over to the CamWorks Operation Tree tab. When we originally defined the features to be machined, we chose Rough Finish for the pockets and Tap for the holes. Here in the Operation Tree, you can see all of the individual operations that were created from the Technology Database to do this. There is a Rough Operation and a Contour Operation for each of the pockets, and a few more operations to create the tapped holes. Just like in SolidWorks, you can click and drag the operations to change their machining order. You can also rename them by slowly double-clicking. And you can suppress and unsuppress operations in the tree. You can hide or show operations or features in the tree. You can also delete operations by right-clicking on them and selecting Delete. When you delete an operation or a feature, it gets sent to the Recycle Bin. Or you can permanently delete an operation by holding Shift and Delete. Later, I'll show you how it can be helpful for you to sort and combine certain operations. I'm sure you've also noticed how all of the operations appear in magenta in the tree. Just as we saw a minute ago, the magenta color means that CamWorks is waiting for input to move on to the next step. In this case, the next step will be creating toolpaths for these operations.